Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming, and some of you may on Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Santa Lucia, Nate's Path. So y'all, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel and get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. All that for as little as $5, y'all. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you were up, and let's go. Alright. <clears throat> Maybe I'm just realizing what a pathetic loser I am. Yeah, that's probably it. What a worthless piece of shit. How could anyone stand to be around me? Forget wanting to date my sorry ass. Honestly, I should... Ooh. Just... Throw myself over the edge. Get this over with. Who could ever love someone like me? Yo, what the hell is this? Yes. I, I will. I'm coming. I climb onto the railing and hold my arms out to the sides. It'll all be over soon. I just need to... What the fuck am I doing? I catch my balance right before I tumble into the rushing water. Before another close call can happen, I climb down from the railing and back away slowly. Did, did I just... I hold up, I hold a hand up to my chest. Where did this coughing fit come from? Oof. This churning in my stomach. Damn, maybe it really is time for me to get back home to get back to the room. I sincerely hope nobody saw that. The door closes audibly behind me. I've learned my lesson. I'm coming back. I need to make a fairly dramatic entrance. I'm back, Zach. Ben! He quickly closes the notebook he's writing in and stuffs it in his drawer. Was that the same notebook I looked at earlier? While the drawer is closing, I notice he also minimizes the window he had open on his laptop. Uh, I figured you were going to be out all night again. Uh, no, not this time. I enter the room and toss my backpack next to my desk. You don't have to stop what you're doing just because I show up. It's fine, just chemistry homework. I was getting a little bored of it anyway. I tweaked my head to the side, but decided not to press him further. If he wants to go all junior detective on this shit, then I'll let him have his let him have his space. I wonder if he has an internet group he's working with on this or something. It'll be the first time the internet worked together to catch a criminal, to varying degrees of success. I jump onto my bed and lean against the wall while pulling my own laptop onto my lap. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna unwind for a bit. You can keep doing what you're doing. Oh, oh okay. He turns back around and faces his computer. From this angle, I'm able to see pretty much everything he does on it. He seems aware of that fact and manages to close the window he had open without giving me a chance to see what it was. Instead, he opens up a new one and loads up a video on YouTube. Heh. <laughs> Alright, Zach. You can keep your secrets. I do something similar on my computer, but instead of pulling up a video, I pull up a stream by one of my favorite streamers. You know, this is the first time we've... This, this, you know, this is the first time we've been together in the room at this time. Hmm? He looks over his shoulder at me. Didn't we say we were gonna get get dinner together one of these nights? Oh, yeah, we did. I smile at him. Why don't we do that tonight, huh? Eh? Sh sure, that, that sounds good to me. Bingo! Zach's walls are nothing compared to the unrivaled wrecking ball that is my charm. Perfect! How does 7.30 sound to you? He nods his head. I, I like it. It's a plan, then. Zack and I walk into the cafeteria together, holding our trays of food. I felt like having some good old-fashioned burgers and fries for dinner, which is actually what I had tonight. And as for Zack, he's got a box, full ch box of chicken strips and mozzarella sticks, so that sounds good. Where do you want to sit? Uh, anywhere is fine, I guess. Anywhere? Huh. You figured he'd want to be in a corner hiding in the shadows or something. Well, let's see what seats are open. Okay. They lead us down an aisle to the far side of the chamber, looking out towards the center. As expected, the place is packed with students. Wow, seeing everyone gathered here right now really puts it into perspective just how diverse a group we are. So many people from various walks of life, backgrounds, ethnicities, species. It's simultaneously welcoming and overwhelming. Second, y'all, water time. Hmm. Alright, time to crack the next one open. There you go. Hmm. Alrighty, nice and crisp. I wish I could... Ah! Zack lets out an audible gasp behind me. What's wrong? I turn around right as he's disappearing behind a pillar to hide. Look over there! 
A finger points out from behind it. Oh. On the other side of the aisle sits none other than a couple of familiar faces. It's Sam and that other guy! You mean Chris? I hold back a chuckle. The two seem to be in deep conversation, or at least or at least uh, or at least deep enough to not notice their mentees hiding behind a pillar. Make some room for me, dude. S sorry. Not gonna lie, I don't think I'm willing to put up with a hyperactive Aussie tonight. Zack peers around the corner of the pillar. Not a fan of your mentor, huh? No words, just silence. That that other guy's a, that other guy's my mentor too. I had a feeling he was. Really? Excuse me, um. My ears perk up when I hear a voice coming from behind us. A mouse girl looks up at us from her seat at the table. I'm not comfortable with you guys standing so close. So, sorry, we'll, we'll get out of your way. Zack quickly slips out from behind this pillar over to the next one down the line. Preferring not to get noticed by Chris, I follow suit. After several more pillars, we finally find a, we finally find a nice spot behind one that is just hidden that is just hidden enough for the mentors for us to relax comfortably. Uh, how about here? Yeah, that's perfect. He responds without looking at me, instead keeping an eye on the two mentors just on the other side of the pillar. Huh, well, as we got that close to them. Well, if Zack is comfortable with this, then I guess I don't mind. We take our seats and start digging into our food. Compared to his earlier enthusiasm, Zack now simply pokes at his food. Uh, something wrong? It's hard to explain. I look up at him in, I I look up at him in confusion. If you've got something on your mind, I'm all ears. Have you ever, ever had a feeling that... He trails off for a moment, I lean in to hear better. Never mind, it's stupid. Huh? Don't worry about it. I sit there dumbfounded, staring at the hooded dragon. Do you not trust me? Instead of answering, he takes a bite out of a chicken strip. Heh, <laughs> guess that's a no. What a shame, thought I was actually getting somewhere. He's such a strange dude sometimes. I pop a couple fries in my mouth and peer around the pillar to see what Chris is up to. And the weather was perfect today. Caught a few waves while I had the chance. How exciting! I always wanted to learn how to surf. I could teach you, for a price. I don't really have the money right now. There you guys are. A booming voice calls out calls out from up the aisle. Oh, hello, Blake. Damn, he's cute. Blake, you made it. The tall, the tall bull terrier pulls up a chair and sits next to the two. He seems familiar to me, but I can't explain why. Way to keep us waiting, jerk. What happened to 8 o'clock sharp? Hmm. Ran into one of my students on the way there. Couldn't, couldn't get rid of him. He's such a chatterbox. So you're saying it wasn't your girlfriend holding you up? Shut up. He waves a hand towards Sam in embarrassment. I didn't leave you hanging that long, right? Nah. Uh, no, you're right, mate. So what's this all about? Alright, down to business then. You already know this, Sam, but I don't think Chris does. Eh? Don't freak out, but Russell came back. He didn't drop out. Uh, this is about him? Oh, jeez. I'm not sure if I... Tough luck, bud. You're involved in this as, just as much as we are. Heh. <laughs> Thank you, know, Water time. Can't believe he... I can't believe he came back. I hope he wasn't expecting us to forget. Man, pricks like him don't change. They think the world owes them everything because they come from money. The terrier folds his arms and looks up at the ceiling. They'll take, and they'll take, and they'll take, and even without consent. Chris fidgets in his seat. Who knows? What if he actually... Do what if he has actually changed? Uh, the wrong accent for Chris. He's Australian. Who knows? What if he's actually changed? Oh, you're gonna sympathize with a rapist now, Chris. My blood runs cold instantly. D did I just hear that? No, of course not. I, I would never. Just maybe... Maybe what, huh? Russell ruined Katie's life, I guarantee it. Tell me why we should stand for his presence on this campus again. Uh, I... Uh, I... Hold on. You already knew he was back, didn't you? Gah! Sam, hmm. Blake leans in closer to Chris. What did he tell you? What are you, what are you talking about? You're a terrible liar, Chris. Where is he? I don't know. He just showed up in my lab one day and... And what? He's practically towering over the poor shepherd. He, he's trying to take one of my mentees away. Hmm. 
Motherfucker. You can't do that. We got him kicked out of the mentorship program. I know, but... That's it. I can't stand this anymore. We've got to get rid of him for good. Agreed. The two of them stare down at Chris. So he's trying to take one of yours, huh? How's that supposed to work? He's joining our lab sessions to keep an eye on him. Perfect. That's all I need to know. What are you going to do? Nothing right now. We've got some planning to do, though. Indeed. If that monster's invading your lab session, then we can use that to our advantage. You don't have to do anything. I've got this covered. <laughs> no offense, dude, but you couldn't cover anything if your life depended on it. You expect us to believe you can handle Russell Lyons on your own? You're the guy who jumped at his own shadow during last year's Halloween party. You remember that? Oh yeah, that was hilarious. Aww. Sam's right, man. You're too soft. Heh. <laughs> Russell will pop you like a pimple. Trust me, I used to be his best friend. I know how he works. Alright, this has been productive. Thanks for the information, Chris. I'll be in touch with both of you. I'll keep an eye out for the bastard. Chris, I expect you to help me plan this out, alright? Uh, okay. Christ, I can't believe what I'm hearing. What the hell's going on? Is it really true? Is Russell a rapist? I turn my attention back to Zack when I hear him slam a fist down on the table. What? What happened? He stares down at his phone in his hand, not saying a word. When I look back around the pillar, I see the three mentors have already left the table. Zack? He takes a deep breath before finally responding. Oh, ben? There was another murder today! Oh shit. He starts handing me his phone. At 5 p.m. I carefully take it out of his hands and examine what's on screen. An old man was found dead today. His body completely drained of blood and collected nearby jars. Oh god! The body was discovered by his employees behind a store in a shopping center. In Santa Lucia. Zack. Uh-huh. They're here. They're in Santa Lucia. Uh-oh. Oh my. September 7th, 2018. The fuck is this, a cult or something? There is something supernatural going on about this, too. Alright, good. Some water. And there's more to this Russell thing. I don't think he is what they're calling him, but we'll see. After puking my guts out for the past half hour, I finally stand up and flush the toilet. Ugh, ugh. My throat's on fire. My muscles ache. My stomach's ripping itself to shreds. I feel like absolute shit this morning. I leave the stall and head around the corner with my shower supplies. Hopefully this is all in my head and a nice warm shower will fix me right up. With my body washed and my teeth brushed, I return to my room with a towel wrapped around my waist. So much for the healing properties of a morning shower. It's the last time I listened to one of those health guru hacks. You don't look so good. Zack sits at his desk packing his backpack for today's classes. I take a deep breath in from my nose. Ah! Which sucks a whole bunch of mucus down my throat. Uh, I'm fine. Ugh, just some morning sickness is all. My voice barely manages to scratch out a response. Ugh. A wave of pain emanates from my stomach, causing aches and angst in all my joints simultaneously. In my peripheral vision, I can tell Zack has stopped watching me. I become slightly self-conscious of the fact I'm wearing nothing under his towel between pain waves. Huh. Without taking the time to think about it, I bend over to stick my toiletry basket in its usual spot beside my desk. Oh, shit. Ugh! A pa panic sets in when I realize that what's making its way up my esophagus. Ben! I start frantically searching for something, anything to use. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I reach under my bed and pull out one of the bags from my Sunday when Russell bought my books. As I open the bag to hold my quickly arriving puke, I'm vaguely aware that my towel wrap has come undone. Ha! Sorry you had to see that. Don't worry about it. After helping me slip on an old pair of pajama bobs, the dragon assists me getting into my bed. Ugh, what an embarrassing way to get exposed. Hmm? Hmm. I wrap myself in my blanket to help alleviate the chills. What is it? Oh. Alright, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. 
Ooh, had a, kind of an interesting episode today. Well, it looks like uh, Russell's got some people out, out for his blood. It looks like another murder has gone down in the town of Santa Lucia. Hmm. Will our gang of, uh, our gang of uh, characters be safe? I, I hope so. I don't want to see anyone die, but... Sometimes life isn't fair. <laughs> sometimes life isn't fair, and sometimes games aren't fair. Anyway, y'all, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and uh, check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye